Hey guys, Paul Trin here with Row64 Tutorials. And uh, we're doing a series today in Python and in Row64 on mastering data frames and how you slice and dice and reorder and move things in the data frame around. Paul Trin here with Row64 bringing you tutorials in Python. Uh, and today we're going to learn how to load CSVs, uh, merge CSVs, and bring them into a data frame. So super excited. Let's get started. So let's see here. I'm opening row 64 for the first time here. And I'm going to go ahead and just close this. So what we want to do is we want to actually just load a quick um, example of, of data. What we've got here is PPP loan data. I just pulled this directly from um, a public uh, PPP loan website. I forget what it is, but you can Google it. PPP loan. And it's just got basically 13 different files and uh, really easy to do. Uh, let's go ahead and click on import export after we click recipes and you can click on right here as an example uh, or insert the code whatever you want to do let's do insert actually and double click click on both so right here you can see um let me close this out Make this a little bit smaller okay actually a little bit bigger actually because you guys probably can't see it and what you want to do is just change this path if you want to do this in python so i'm going to change the path to the file that I want to open right here and choose the file name. All right. And there you have it. And I click run and it's going to load right into the data frame. So, uh, normally, what you do after this is if you're running uh, Python, you'd probably want to print, you know, DFN or DF or whatever you want, and it would show you uh, an excerpt of, of the data frame itself. Uh, row 64 is a great that it's a data frame visualizer so you can kind of just see things without having to print a console and it displays it in like a similar uh, spreadsheet UI interface so pretty cool um, the for non-technical users you can just type literally type in load CSV here here I'll show you if I were to just do load CSV here right and do quotes here Right, I can literally click on this, browse, and then go to the same destination here, right, and load this like this, right, and hit run, and it runs, adds it to the data frame, and you can quickly start working. What happens if, um, actually, you can do all kinds of ways too. Row 64 is pretty powerful. You don't have to actually use Python at all too. You could actually even just load it directly into the data frame by data frame by dragging and dropping. So I've got a half a gigabyte file here, a million rows, drop it in, takes you know under a second. You can kind of see all the data here. Let me move it down to the bottom. Just under a million. Uh, it's pretty responsive, pretty quick. But what happens if you want to do multiple data frames, right? Or what you want to do all of it and you want to be in one one single data frame. Uh, Row64 has a unique solution for that. We have also inside here a multi CSV in. And is, if you know that all of your data is coming in, um, coming in uniform, uh, you can basically just copy and paste the URL here. Multi, or type in multi load CSV and uh, it'll take all of those, um, all of those CSVs that were listed and you can see here what it does is it starts to read them, append them, and uh, add them directly into the data frame. If you want to see the underlying Python behind this to learn to do this yourself, our approach is like this. We make a, we identify three different uh, libraries being Globe, which is a global um, library. We do OS, which is the operating system library, and obviously Pandas, which because we're working with data frames. And we make a function called multi-load CSV where we feed in the folder destination. And you can see here that we are basically using Globe to basically look at all the files and then creating um, uh, a list and an array which we iterate through and append. And yeah, if, you, if you're looking to learn Python, this is a great tool to kind of see the, our, our approach. But basically, you take the, the file path here, you pass it into this function that we've created and in that function, it looks at all the files, creates a list up and places us a uh, file name, iterates through that, that list of names in order to uh, create a single 
uh, single data frame that it returns. So, and then it then displays it for us to view here. So, as you can see here, we are going through and we have probably some issues with data types giving me some errors, but for the most part, it should load up here in a second and uh, you can be able to see the results and immediately work with it. Um, let's see, the Python we chose. And here are all 11, 12 million records loaded into the data frame. It's pretty great. It's pretty, uh, I mean, you can't do this in Excel because Excel can only handle a million rows. But the reality is even if you get towards like 50,000 records, any sort of real data analysis goes out the window. So, so another thing you can do is actually combine all of the um, CSV files into a single CSV file too. So I'm gonna show you how to do that actually in a command prompt as well, which can be pretty quick sometimes. So I'm just gonna get this uh, this path here. Show you there are the uh, there are the CSV files I want to combine, and the you want to go in the command prompt potentially, and we want to get to this destination. So if you do CD, which is uh, how you get to that destination, you can then do copy star cs dot csv which is all the csvs in this file and i want to i want to keep it in the same same file path so i'm going to call this combine dot csv right and if i hit enter here my uh cpu will just go through this process take all those csvs and if i know that they're all the same make one single file which i can then load into row 64 actually i'll show you that right now actually so let's close out what we did previously and um yeah see now that there's a in the file type here you can see that there's a uh, combined CSV and I can load it any all kinds of different ways right I can drag and drop boom it goes right it, it'll, it'll jump right in I can uh, do the, the single load CSV again and I can also do um, Python the Python bits so I can import you know so yeah I'm back it took a total of uh, 13.7 seconds to import in 11.5 million rows. So uh, my next video, if you join, uh, we're gonna talk about how do you like reorder, reorder uh, things in pandas, columns in pandas, how do you reorder, how do you delete columns, how do you, uh, and how do you change like specific values. Uh, I'll show you how to do that in Python, and then I'll also show you how to do that using row 64, which is obviously a lot easier because you can just, you can just manipulate the, um, the data frame like you would like a spreadsheet. It's pretty powerful, it's super fun, and super easy to use. Thanks so much for your time. Hope you guys have a great day.